फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम टेन सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज प्लस काट सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज नाउ सोल्यूशन टेन सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज प्लस काट सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन सेवेंटी फाइव एंड काट सेवेंटी फाइव वैल्यूज टेन सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस रूट थ्री काट सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज इज इक्वल टू टू माइनस रूट थ्री जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस टू सो नाउ दिस बिकम्स टू प्लस रूट थ्री प्लस टू माइनस रूट थ्री प्लस रूट थ्री माइनस रूट थ्री गेट्स कैंसल सो वी गेट टू प्लस टू फोर सो नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फिफ्थ वन साइन वन थाउजेंड वन फोर्टी डिग्रीज कास थ्री नाइंटी डिग्रीज माइनस कास सेवन एटी डिग्रीज एंड साइन सेवन फिफ्टी डिग्रीज In this problem, first let us find out the sine eleven forty degrees. The sine eleven forty we can write sine of three into three sixty degrees plus sixty. We have one formula sine n into three sixty plus theta is sine theta. So this is sine sixty. Now cos three ninety. Cos 390 can be written as cos of 360 plus 30. Cos 360 plus theta, cos theta, so that becomes cos 30. Now let us go for cos 780. Cos 780 is you can write cos 2 into 360, 720 plus 60 degrees. This is cos 60 degrees. This is now sine seven fifty. Sine seven fifty degrees is equal to sine two into three sixty plus thirty. So this is sine thirty degrees. Now this problem becomes sine sixty. कास थर्टी माइनस कास सिक्सटी साइन थर्टी हाउ डज इट अपीयर इट अपीयर्स टू बी साइन ए कास बी माइनस कास ए साइन बी सो साइन ए कास बी माइनस कास ए साइन बी इक्वल्स टू साइन ऑफ ए माइनस बी दिस इज इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ सिक्सटी माइनस थर्टी साइन थर्टी सो विच इक्वल टू वन बाय टू so under first section second problem express one root three cos twenty five degrees plus sine twenty five degrees by two As a sine of an angle let us do it now what is given 
root 3 cos 25 degrees plus sin 25 degrees by 2. So, this can be written root 3 by 2 cos 25 degrees plus 1 by 2 sin 25 degrees. Now, root 3 by 2 in terms of sin we have to write 1 by 2 in terms of cos. The value of root 3 by 2 is sin 60 degrees. This is cos 25 degrees plus cos 60 sin 25. Now, this is in the form of sin A cos B plus cos A sin B, sin of A plus B. So, this is sin of 60 degrees plus 25. So, this is sin of 85 degrees. So, in terms of a sin of an angle we have written sin 85 degrees. Next let us move to the next problem. Second bit in the cos theta minus sin theta as a cosine of an angle, cosine of an angle. Okay. So, that means consider cos theta minus sin theta. So, now multiply root 2 and divide by root 2. So, we can write like this root 2 times 1 by root 2 cos theta minus 1 by root 2 sin theta. So, in order to express as a cosine of an angle, so this 1 by root 2 must be in terms of cos, 1 by root 2 must be in terms of sin we have to write. So, this is root 2 times we can write as cos theta cos 45 degrees or cos pi by 4 minus sin theta sin pi by 4. Now, just observe this value. So, this is in the form of cos A cos B minus sin A sin B that is nothing but cos of A plus B. So, this is equal to root 2 times cos of theta plus pi by 4. Next third one under second tan theta in terms of tan alpha if sin of theta plus alpha is equal to cos of theta plus alpha. Okay. Here given sin of theta plus alpha is equal to cos of theta plus alpha. Divide both sides by cos theta plus alpha we get like this sin theta plus alpha by cos theta plus alpha equals to 1. What is sin theta by cos theta? Tan theta. So, this we can write tan of theta plus alpha equals to 1. Now, tan theta plus alpha right now, that is tan theta plus tan alpha by 1 minus tan theta tan alpha equals to 1. Cross multiply. What do you get? If you cross multiply tan theta plus tan alpha is equal to 
1 minus tan theta tan alpha will get it. What is our aim? The tan theta should be expressed in terms of tan alpha. So, bring minus tan theta tan alpha this side. So, this one this side and tan alpha right hand side. So, we write tan theta plus tan theta tan alpha is equal to 1 minus tan alpha. From these two take out tan theta common. So, we get 1 plus tan alpha equal to 1 minus tan alpha. So, just find tan theta. Tan theta is equal to 1 minus tan alpha by 1 plus tan alpha.